I got into the business late in my career. I started my career in the military as an infantry officer, and then I worked in sales for quite a long time. And I had a friend who was in the pallet business, and I went and looked at his facility and was pretty amazed by it. And uh, we were looking to move from New York anyway, so we moved to Pennsylvania and found a warehouse and got a trailer and started collecting pallets and just kept building it up from there. We started off recycling and that is still the bulk of our business but we wanted to serve a larger range of customers. So we got into like new custom pallets. I quickly realized I was gonna need a lot of lumber and, and figured the best way to do it was produce my own lumber instead of buying it from someone else. So we looked at then getting into sawmilling. So we were already working with Wood Miser with their pallet machinery, their dismantlers and trim saws. So they were the first people I called. We just decided to go all in on it. When we got the sawmill, we really didn't know what we needed or what we were doing. So we relied heavily on our, our wood miser friends. When the guys came to install it, their comments were, wow, you guys really thought it through. And I had to admit that it wasn't my foresight. <laughs> it was all due to wood miser and, and Colin's guidance. They partnered up with us all the way. The general process for a new pallet starts with the client. It's designing the pallet around, hey, what do you actually need to best do what you're trying to do with your product? With recycled pallets, we buy what they call cores or broken pallets, unwanted pallets. Those pallets come in and they get sorted and then they go to the builders who take any broken parts off of the pallet and replace it. And from there, they're loaded onto trucks and shipped out to the customers. We produce, of course, a lot of sawdust in the sawmilling and, and all the other cutting operations. We have a dust collection system that collects the sawdust. And then another business that specializes in sawdust then takes the trailer and switches it out. And they use the sawdust for animal bedding for either chickens or horses. Everything gets used, so there is very little to no waste, which is great. Our growth has been a bit crazy at times and more than, than we expected. A business is only as good as its people, and I'm super lucky to have a, a great team. Working with my wife is great. I, I love it. We complement each other in a lot of ways. We're also very different people, for sure. And so she grounds me, whereas I would just float away. I couldn't do it without Brian, my partner. Brian just takes whatever task that comes up and confronts it head on and, and gets it done. Whether he's on the forklift or even running the sawmill, um, he's, he's a sawyer, I'm not. And so he's obviously pretty integral to everything we do here. The most rewarding thing about the business is really difficult to peg because there are so many rewarding things about the business. You know, working with customers is probably the most rewarding. You know, we get those calls. We needed this special size palette. You guys jumped through hoops, got it out to us really quick and it helped us secure the business. Um, we've gotten those phone calls. That's probably the most exciting thing. Um, I also do happen to like the machinery a lot, so getting new machinery is pretty cool too.